Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm having layout number two for collection obsession for all of you and also for Through the Rainbow 2.0 which is Ledger for the, for the month of June. So in a minute here I'm going to come to you and I am going to show you some of the papers I have pulled. So for the ledger, I am using this Bicky Booten print shop paper. And um, I am continuing to use the uh, Simple Story, Simple Vintage Indigo Garden for the remaining of the papers. So that's what you will see here. What I've tried to do is to bring in similar colors to that print shop paper. Um, so I, have brought in these two uh, papers from the Simple Stories collection. And um, I am pretty happy. Here are my two photos that I'm going to be using for the layout. And um, I'm going to come here real time, really soon, and I'm going to show you my layout. Okay, so here is layout number two that I did for both Collection Obsession and Through the Rainbow using the ledger paper here in the background. Um, the ledger paper is from Bicky Booten, the um, print shop, um, from the print shop collection. I did go ahead and back that and frame it in a... Um, uh, the Simple Stories collection that I've been using for this month for Collection Obsession. I've gone ahead and just um, taken some scrap paper here just to make this fishtail. Um, I had this yellow uh, check gingham back here as well as this area here, this uh, paper. Um, I just used the the B sides of those of previously used scraps, um, previously used papers. <clears throat> anyway, so I found this one, believe it or not, a little bit more challenging just because I, I knew that I definitely obviously wanted to use, I think um, once I kind of got the orientation down, I knew there was going to be some space here, some space here, but it then it just kind of came together. So one of the things that I tried to make sure is that there were pops of the same colors in each cluster. I know you've probably heard that before, but it was really important for this one. So you'll see that there's the, the blue in each of the clusters the pink in each of the clusters, the yellows in each of the clusters, right? So, <clears throat> and, and the greens <clears throat> in each of the clusters. So that in and of itself, I think made it a little bit more cohesive. I did try to stick to less of the pinks and more of the corally colors from the Simple Vintage only because of the colors in the background. But I think overall, it's pretty, it's pretty safe to say that um, I try to use um, as much of the um, embellishments and things that came in the collection. Some of them, like these, these are, um, these are, I want to say these are stickers. I'm trying to remember if, yep, that's a sticker. I know this is a sticker. Oops. Um, this is a die cut. Um, and, and I've popped these up. I don't know if you can tell, but I've just used some foam squares. This is a die cut on top of a, I think this is a sticker. Um, and then I've just kind of pop those up and also put this little blue tab in there as well. So I really love, I just have to finish the journaling on these um, before I put them away. And, but otherwise pretty, pretty simple. I really love the way that this came out. Um, they had, the sentiments were really cute and really appropriate for the things that I am documenting this month. So it just worked out. All right, guys, I sure hope that you've enjoyed this video and until next time, bye for now.